using the bullhorn because, I don't know, it just seemed appropriate somehow in this day and age. <laughs> also, I, am a, I have successfully not put this onto the siren. If I put this onto the siren, you will all leave. You will all be first. It is the worst sound ever in the history of the world. Um, my name is Ben Spearman. I'm the general director of Bronx Opera and the stage director of Clemenza that you're about to see tonight. Uh, just a few things I wanted to mention before we get started. First of all, Clemenza is part of something called the New York Opera Fest. This is a festival of organizations that perform between April 15th and June 15th all over New York City. Opera of every imaginable size and kind and shape. Um, you should, the organizations are listed, the organizations that are part of the New York Opera Alliance, which created the New York Opera Fest, are listed in your program. You should definitely look, definitely look them up because we all do this art form in a different way and I think in very equally compelling ways. So please look up your organizations that are listed in your program. Uh, during the pandemic, part of the pandemic, we present, we created two virtual productions, two films, two videos really, one of Mozart's The Impresario, one of Gilbert and Sullivan's Trial by Jury. Those are available on YouTube. Please search them out. Um, they were a lot of fun, a lot of fun to do. No easier than this, just different. Um, that sort of segues into something else I wanted to, wanted to mention, which is that all of, pretty much all of what, you, what you'll see if you look at those videos was created right here in this theater as we turned this space into a TV studio for a few hours. Um, we really couldn't have gotten through the pandemic without our partners here at Lehman, particularly Lehman Stages, um, which is the organization that runs this theater and all the other spaces in this building. Um, they're, an, uh, they're a major partner and we really would not be able to do this without their help. Um, finally, on the back of your program, there is a, a form to fill out, to use, to give us money. Please, you know, use it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And with all of that said, on my own behalf, the orchestra, our cast, artistic director Michael Spearman in the pit, thank you for coming. It is so great to have live audiences back at our performances here. The videos were fun, but this is more fun. And with that said, thank you for coming and enjoy Clemenza.
wandered through this awful pandemic. There are no Romans who've avoided some loss of friends or family. The strain on our nation has cost us money, but also, more important, the cost to common people all around us and to those that were worst of, the suffering's been harder. I asked the Senate to use the money instead of for a temple to help our neighbors and let that be my temple. This is a terrible... Trust what I think I can't be surprised by all you do, sir. You have surprised me. That's enough praise, God help me. Sister, please come with me. Anya, you also. I thank you all, my people. <laughs> Family, 
I promise to raise you up and bring to almost nothing the huge distance that heaven placed between the positions of you and Tito.
Your reading is a law that expands and sharpens the sentence for saying things that time tarnish either you or those before you. This is appalling and unhelpful for all. All this will bring us is a thousand new methods to make people fear speaking. That's true, but sir, we must stop all these traitors who rail against you. Why should we care if someone's goal is laughter? Ignore them. If they're foolish, I feel pity. If they're right, I am grateful. And if there's someone acting out of true hatred, I would forgive them. At least I'm at your feet. Servilia, my empress. Ah, oh, Signor, that great title is not mine just yet. Give me a moment. There's something that I need you to know. Fulvio, please leave us, but don't go far. Tell me. My heart is not mine. It has been stolen. Anio, O oh Caesar, he and I are in love. Sir, I know it's illegal to reject any wish of our true sovereign, and that's not what I'm doing. So, if my Caesar wants me, To the gods above, finally someone who will be honest and will risk my displeasure. You both would take misery. You choose love over power. Please do not worry. There is no way I'd ever prevent you. If only more of our people were like you and like Anya. <laughs> Where is he? Tito, you killed him! I 
comes to see you. Tito, he thought he found you. Tito is on his way here. Tito is. Haven't you heard? You're the one he has chosen. You saw me be an empress. And just remember that you heard it from us too. Your majesty, let's go. Caesar is waiting.
Julia one more. I won't feel any comfort until Cecil's slept fully of all wrongdoing. By now the testimony is finished and the Senate will soon have heard him. You'll see that he's done nothing. And I am certain that we'll know something shortly. You'll know the claims that Lentulo made were clear. Lentulo may be seeking some sort of patsy he can blame for his actions. He's well aware of how close I am to Sesto, using a friendship to clear himself. No oh, news yet from the Senate. I wish to tell us what's going on. Go, see what they have said, what they're doing. I need to know what Cecil's done. Then we'll go. I'll go, but don't expect good news when I've returned here. You believe that Cecil's a traitor. I measure his heart by my own standards. I just cannot imagine that he could have betrayed me. Oh, but sir, very few have hearts like Tito. <laughs>
to roam and yes me to fake a friendship always at my side always and always crying convincing me to give it little proofs that I loved him and meanwhile planning he was planning to kill me why am I waiting waiting to Sign it, till I'm not signing. I hate both decisions. <laughs>
heard such pouting and such disloyal faithlessness. I should now take vengeance on behalf of my disrespected mercy. Take vengeance, but can my spirit follow through on that anger? Then spare him. But then our rules and laws, then they're nothing. Cesto's guilty. Cesto dies now. But then I'm dealing such a blow to my soul. I know that no one will blame me. It is expected. I cannot kill him. I'll rule as I have lived. Cesto will die, though he does deserve to. Since history will judge me, I'd rather that it fault me for having been too kind and not too vicious. Julio, Emperor, let's go to the people they are waiting. And Cesto, and Cesto have him brought there as well. And you've decided? Yes, Julio, I've decided. I'm truly sorry.
the punishment that's due you. Rome in a riot, the emperor attacked. Our laws were broken, all your friendships betrayed. All people and heaven called for your death and quickly. And more you know, above all, that I was the main target. So listen. Here is the greatest emperor, the most foolish of your subjects. Get up now, what's wrong? What happened? I'm here to bring before you the one who caused the riots. The one? And who could have planned? Tell me who had planned to kill me. You all won't believe it. Why not? Because I did it. You also? How many more? Who else here has betrayed me? This day could have gone better. Just when I'm ready to absolve one, I find another. Tell them they're spared. 